guys so i don't know if you know this uh i have a snapchat i had everybody that asked me back on there if, you know i mean if you're not sketchy or anything but uh <laughs> kickity uh but uh yeah go ahead and add me on snapchat it'll help me out a lot you know stay connected with my life even though i have a really cringy cringe worthy life anyways i'm gonna leave this up for a little bit longer and hopefully enjoy the rest of the video Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls, hey guys, I'm KJ Saint, guys, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to trace people's IP address the easiest way as possible. Let's not waste any more time and dive right into it. It's simple. Go to the link that says down here. Click on the download button on the Wireshark. Click on either 64, 32-bit, or Mac OS, depending if you have a Mac, to find out if you have a 64-bit or 32-bit PC. Which mainly you probably have a 64 bit, but just in case if you don't know, go to your control panel, which can be achieved by right clicking on the Windows and hitting control panel. And what you're going to do is go to system and security, view main route, actually, let me hear system, uh, system and security, view amount of RAM and processor speed, and it'll be right here. Hey, post KJ, can I get a uh, highlight red box above there? Actually, no, make it green because green's a, my favorite color. Alright, thanks, bud. I right, go ahead and mine out that and open up Windows Sharks after it's done downloading. Should take no more than uh, 30 seconds or even a minute. Go ahead and say yes, guys, already have it. I'm going to uninstall it, my program just for you. It's going to take you to this uh, guide. Make sure you click yes on the administrator, right? Uh, yes or no box, if you want. I don't know what it's called. Click next. I agree. Hit next. 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 You don't have to install that, so hit next. You don't have to install that, hit next, and or install in that case, and let that install. Alrighty, then once it's done install, hit next. Run Wireshark 2, or 2 point something, I don't know, the version once, because I didn't look at it one now. And then it's going to load up on the screen. And then to start capturing up your IP, your router's uh, information, go ahead and click up here. And click on your Ethernet, which is right here. And then hit start. If you're running a wireless, it'll show wireless too, and just click on that. Now, if you want to run this uh, multiple times, because right now it's running in administrator mode, so it's going to work when you start it up. But after this and you close out the program, it's not going to work. So what you want to do, I highly suggest just right click on the uh, program, pinning it, which is already pinned to my uh, taskbar. What you want to do is right click on it, right click on the Wireshark properties, and then you're going to go to compatibility and cl uh, click run this program as administrator. And then once you hit that, hit apply. Okay. Every time you click on this, uh, actually, you want to run this as administrator, and you now have this as administrator program, which will allow you to trace people's IP address that you don't like. You can use this on Skype, Omega. Um, Anything that has video live streaming to you will work. TeamSpeak will work. Discord, I believe, will work too. So a lot of programs will work with this because it's uh, basically information that's to your router. And this is completely legal since you are uh, monitoring your own property. And you're basically doing security. Anyways, guys, I'm Casey. Guys, make sure you leave a like if you liked the video. Make sure you leave a dislike if you didn't like the video. And until next time, I will see you next Friday fight. And this is me signing off.